Goodman. Across the 20, across the 30, and tripped up from behind. Tripped up by Thad Flanagan. Tom Clements, number two, will be at quarterback. Eric Pennick, 44 left halfback. Al Samuel, 24 right halfback. Fullback is Rain Bullock. He's had the flu all week, number 30. Good end. All-American Pete Demerley, number 85. That is Samuel in motion, and Bullock gets the call and is across the 40 and out near the 43-yard line. With their numbers, tight end number 81, Ken McAfee. His dad was quite a star at Alabama. Number 64, Steve Neese at left tackle. Al Wojciak at left guard. Mark Brenneman, number 59, injured, is in at center. Jared DiNardo at right tackle. And Steve Sylvester at right end. And that is Bullock again, getting within a yard or two of the first down. Mike DeBose, 54, Randy Hall, 62, Charles Hanna, 51, and Leroy Cook, the All-American, 98, of the front four with Gus White, 68, playing in middle guard and frequently dropping back as a middle linebacker. Ronnie Robertson, 55, and Conley Duncan, 57, of your linebacker. We'll give you the deep men in a moment. It's third down and about two. Bullock does not get the first down. gets it away nearly blocked and goes out of bounds that time they put great pressure on him but nobody got near him an 18 yard punt quarterback Richard Todd number 14 you've seen Randy Billingsley 26 Calvin Culliver 33 Willie Shelby 30 that is Shelby in motion Todd gonna throw on first down and misses his man number 88 Here's the Notre Dame defensive front four. And this is a good one. That is Steve Niehaus, number 70. Kevin Nosbush, number 60. Mike Fanning, the All-American, number 88. And Jim Stock, number 48, the right end. Second down and 10. No oh, score we've yeah. just begun. Culliver with the football, running right into Tom Eastman. Ozzie Newsom, the freshman, the lone freshman in the starting lineup, is wide right. Billingsley goes in motion to the left. Todd tries to carry the ball and goes nowhere. They'll kick it away to Harrison and Bergmeyer, and again, this is a very short kick taken by Ted Bergmeyer, number 18, inside the 35-yard line, down at the 33. Then they had to kick it away. Samuel in motion. Samuel with the ball. They like that misdirection, and he gets out near the 40-yard line. Number two. Second down on a short four. That's panic in motion this time, and Bullock looking for some running room. Doesn't get much, does he? Third down, and about three to go. Panic again in motion. This time he's going to get the football. Comes outside, has the first down, and cracks across the 45-yard line. Eric Panic. Notre Dame has the football. There's no score. Well, Panic's going to try it again. Steps inside one man, Wayne Rhodes. Notre Dame says this year's game will be a classic. Demerley wide to the right. Samuel in motion that way. On the slight delay, Samuel hit again by Ronnie Robertson, number 55. Samuel in motion. Clements back on a delay. Goes to Clipman, who just came in, and he doesn't get even back to the line of finish. Shelby is going to call for a fair catch, and the ball is loose. Get on it. Picked up by Notre Dame. Shelby fumbled the ball. Ball is at the 16-yard line. Samuel recovered the fumble in motion. Here comes Pennick this way, cutting up the middle for some yardage inside the 15 down to the 13-yard line. Double wing again. Now Pennick in motion. Clements keeps the ball, tries to turn the right side, and gets inside the 10-yard line. Down to about the nine. They've got to get to the six. Bullock, the big fullback, trying to get down near the six and is very close. Same page as to what play to call, not whether or not to go. Two tight ends in now. Demerley out. More than a foot. Bullock's got the first down. That's the second first down of the game. First and goal to go. Pennick and Bullock, your setbacks. Bullock, touchdown! A 
A 16-yard mark set up by the fumble by Willie Shelby, recovered by Al Samuel. As a kicker only, Dave Reese will try to add the extra point, and he has got it. And Notre Dame, the underdog in this game, jumps out 7 0 leading over number one of the country, Alabama. This will be Taylor standing at the goal line. To the 10, back down from behind. That is Todd, the quarterback, and Todd gets about eight yards on the play, out to the 23-yard line. Culliver is knocked down by Niehaus. He hurt his knee in a motorcycle accident this week, lacerated in both knees, but is playing. Todd back for his pass to Ozzie Newsom. He can't hold on to it at the 43-yard line. 5.25 to go. We're in the first quarter. Shelby gets across the 30-yard line, tripped up. They've still got three yards to go. John Galanis, number 96, checks into that Notre Dame defensive front four on third down. At about a yard and a half. Todd still got the football, flips it out, it is loose and scores. And by Notre Dame, Tom Eastman, number 42. Harper Seeking looking on. Clements to call signals from a 29, sending Pennock in motion. Clements rolling. He's a good runner. Wow, he hit down right at the line of scrimmage. Hits down by big Leroy Cook. We'll still call it second and ten. Samuel in motion. Bullock straight ahead up the middle. Gets away from Woodrow Low and, and facing a third and five situation at their own 24. Clements back to throw. Looks, throws, and intended for Samuel, and it's broken up. Dave Reese, the man that we said was exclusively signed as a kicker, will try a 42-yard field goal with a Locko holding. Reese gets the ball up, and it's no good. So that fumble does not hurt Alabama. Rutledge, number 11, is a new quarterback. Not as physical as Todd, but he sure can throw the football. They call him the rooster. He's a redhead. Alvin Culliver barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. And Shelby in motion. Culliver breaks into the secondary first down down the sideline. Right down by Randy Payne, number 16. Looking over to the tight end, number 88, George Pugh. Jamoon this time set right, bottom of your screen. Rutledge on the option, picks up some yardage out to the 49 yard line. There, and all of Alabama wants this one. Third down and seven. Billingsley and Jamoon both to the right. Rutledge dropping straight back. Look out! John Jubinetsky, the strong side safety was blitzing. Andy Harrison, 10. Ted Bergmeyer, 18. This is Randy Harrison taking it inside the 20 at about the 23-yard line. Mark McLean, number 22, is now in the backfield. And it is McLean with the football. Wow, did he take a shot. Number 47, Woodrow Lowe. Well, he was injured a couple, missed a couple of games, as a matter of fact, bro, because of injuries. Straight ahead, Bullock. Bullock across the 30. Near the first down at the 33 yard line. All right, we're at the end of the first quarter of this 41st annual Orange Bowl game. And the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame up on the Crimson Tide of Alabama, 7 0. Notre Dame, they've got the football first and 10 at their own 33. Clements, check that. There's your first down. This is Al Samuel taking the pitch back. In a little bit of trouble, gets out of some of it, and down he goes. But still, the pursuit made up for it. Second and nine. Going the other way is McLean, trying to get outside and cannot get outside. And lost to Penn State. And he said, don't remind me of that. Remind me of the Navy game, which we won back in 61. Clements with the football, trying to get the first down, and he is very close. Clements. 
Going on first down and throws it out here to Mark McLean. And McLean is pushed out of bounds after picking up five yards. It's also true that Alabama has not been able to drive the ball, and Notre Dame has been able to move the ball. Bullock, one of the men who's been moving the ball, doesn't move it very far that time, does he? King of Breathe and Tom Paris, number 36 out of Longmont, Colorado, comes in. Al Samuel can't quite make the cut around the defensive man at the 40 yard line. I would imagine all of Alabama fields that way. Samuel's going to try it again. Back down from behind as he went by by number 68, Gus White. And Wayne Bullock, number 30, is back in. The ball is on a 34 yard line. Bullock may have gotten a yard, stacked up by the right side of him. second down and nearly 10 to go. That's Goodman in motion, but Penix got the football. Makes the cut and gets the yard and down to the 30 yard line. And USC defeated Ohio State 18 to 17. Our score is 7 to nothing. Third and six. That's Goodman in motion. Clements to Goodman. Goodman got a yard or two inside the 30 down to the 28 yard line. As Dave Reese will now try a 45 yard field goal with Frank Alaco to hold. They don't have anybody back to return it either, Jim. He earlier missed a 42-yard. Could be offside. Kick is blocked. Flag is down. They need five yards to go. And if an Alabama man, Mike Washington, charge offside, that could be the first down Notre Dame, and that's what it is. Just continued good luck and happiness. We hope you get better. Clements. Down he goes. Number one ranked in the country. They win tonight. They win the national championship. At the moment, they're down by seven. McLean in motion. The fake to Bullock. The pitch to McLean. McLean gets inside the 15 yard line and he's got a first down down near the 11. Mark McLean and Ricky Davis making the stop. Bullock going up the middle and gets inside the 10 down to about the eight yard line. Robin Weber and Ken McAfee. And that is McLean in motion, and he's got the football. And comes inside, and touchdown! Eight-yard run, Mark McLean. The amazing thing, Jim, is that they've been able to do it throwing very few passes. I mean, they're running over the top of him. He's using perfect options. You fake the ball to Bullock, you see him go down. Now McLean gets outside, makes a great cut, just runs about three or four. And it is no good. Alaco runs back to argue, and so does Reed. You can tell Alaco uh, was trying to get a little help on the call. Uh, as soon as he kicked it, he waved his arms, and uh, they don't do that unless it's pretty close. 8.29 to go. We're still in the first half, and at the moment, number one ranked Alabama is in trouble. Trailing Notre Dame 13 to nothing. And Rutledge remains your quarterback. Todd started. Rutledge pitching back to Shelby. Shelby rips by one man and is dragged down across the way. Tolliver did not get the first down. But at the moment, things aren't going that well for the Crimson Tide. Shelby tries to get the first down, and I don't think he got it. I don't think he got it. They've got a return on, but Harrison's calling for a fair catch over at the 33 yard line with all American and the shoes taped there. First and 10. Al Samuel trying to get some yardage and doesn't get much, if any. But they're seven and eight yards down the line. He's made a lot of them right on that line. Bullock has the football, lost the football, and it looks like Alabama has recovered in Notre Dame territory. Getting up is Pizzatola. First down, Rutledge pitching back to Shelby with the running room, and he's down to the 35 yard line. Todd keeps the ball and is wrestled down by Drew Mahalik on third down and is converted on none. Todd throwing out here to Ozzie Newsom. He's got the first down at the 21 yard line. Randy Payne made the stop. Pinsky 26 at that right cornerback spot. Todd looking again for Newsom. 
Try to get down behind the man, Reggie Barnett, who was defending on the play. And Second down, 10. Todd carrying the football and being wrestled down by Drew Mahalik, the outside linebacker. Todd looking, looking, has his man inside the 10-yard line. That's Jerry Brown, the tight end. Newsom wide to the right. Randy Billingsley looking for running room, and boy, is he straightened out by Steve Niehaus, number 70. Shimon is in and wide right. Todd hands the ball to Culliver. Culliver gets inside the five yard line. Third down from the four. Todd looking for Newsom off his hands at the goal line. Reggie Barnett defending. Danny Ridgeway is coming in. Fraley will hold and they will try a 21 yard field goal to get Alabama on the board. 21 yard field goal attempt is good. And Alabama's Crimson Tide with 1.45 to go in the half is on the board. And Notre Dame now leads the Crimson Tide by a score of 13 to 3. And we'll come right back to Miami in a moment. Goodman has this ball at the 17 yard line. Running into a host of folks. Amulet motion. Bullock with the football. Bullock, the tackle made on him by number 34, Mike Washington. As second down and three to go. Double wing again. Bullock's got the football again, and Alabama's got him this time at about the 35 yard line. May play something like this. Clements tries for the first down. Did he get it? We've got a first and 10 at the 36 yard line. That's the first time they've set up in the power eye, which they're doing, and Pennick goes nowhere. Uh, and McAfee started up wide, now comes back up tight. Lane goes in motion. Clements running with the football across the 40 and scoots out of bounds at the 43 yard line. And they're trailing in this one by 10 points with 16 seconds to go in the half. Third down and three. Clements. Gets the ball off, and it's going to be intercepted, I do believe, by Mike Washington. Number 34. Washington had the ball all the way, and I know he was trying to make a big play on that, but uh, Washington was in perfect position. Hunter's your quarterback. Pete Johnson is also in. Todd throws and has Shamoon. Shamoon steps by two men. Down he goes with a second to go, and time runs out in the first half as they had a first down at the 37-yard line. So Alabama goes to the dressing room, as do the Irish. And the score at the end of the first half of the 41st annual Orange Bowl is Notre Dame, the underdog, leading the number one ranked team in the country, Alabama, 13 to 3. And Alabama will get the football as we begin the second half. Shelby very dangerous and quick at the nine. Gets across the 25, and Randy Harrison, number 10, makes the stop. Short to 88, the tight end. Culliver with the football and gets some yardage out to about the 29-yard line. Alabama is playing for the national championship. Win tonight, and they got it. Todd flipping it out, intended for George Pugh, the tight end who could not hold on to it. It is third down and seven. Todd looking for Newsom. He's caught the football at the 42-yard line. Knocked down by Reggie Barnett. First down for Alabama at the 42. Culliver gets across the 45 and out to perhaps the 46 or 47-yard line. Bob Lipinski is your right cornerback. He replaced Randy Payne late in the first half and is still in there. Todd keeping the football and not getting too much out of it. Third down and four with Newsom going wide right. Todd throwing, looking, can't get the ball away, almost intercepted. In on him was Dubinetsky. Hangs this one high. Harrison back, holding his hand up. It's going to bounce 
and be picked up by Taylor. Did they control it or did it go into the end zone? Into the end zone will come out to the 20 yard line from the 20. Notre Dame leading 13 to 3. Two tight ends, Weber and McAfee. Panic in motion, number 44, cutting upfield and hit down hard. Bullock gets out to the 23 yard line and not much more. He's gained 55 yards tonight. Straight ahead goes Wayne Bullock men on that line of scrimmage but they're not all coming and Bradley slices this off the side of his foot it hits at the 40 Shelby picks it up at the 35 and Al Samuel is the first to get to him as he gets out to the 45 yard line personal foul that's what it was a late hit that'll cost him from Alabama first and 10 for the Crimson Tide at the 40 Rutledge is the quarterback Hands the ball off, and Niehaus. Well, Bear Bryant has been using a couple of quarterbacks tonight. Not one has gotten him a touchdown. Rutledge looking, throwing for Shamoon. He's got the ball inside the 20-yard line. Russ Shamoon out of Napa, California. From the 18, first and 10, Alabama. Shamoon wide right. Rutledge pitches back, and they can't find the handle. Look out, Rutledge, he gets away, in trouble again, fires the ball, has his man, and it's the same one. Third and 11 from the 19. Stock in motion. They've got everybody out, and Rutledge back to throw over this way, and dropping down with the ball is George Q, the tight end, trying to set up a tight end screen. Bucky Berry will try this from 44 yards out. And it is no good off to the side. And Notre Dame will take over on their own 20-yard line. The deepest penetration yet by Alabama. And the other team, the Irish, have the football. McLean in motion. And Samuel coming this way and getting to the 21 and not much more. We'll reevaluate who gets that national championship. Clements throwing, has his man knocked out of bounds. Ron Goodman is in now. As the halfback on the left side, Clements rolling that way. In trouble, coming out, and dragged down, and there's Mike DeBose again, number 54. Bradley to kick. Gets a good one away this time, driving Shelby back inside the 30-yard line to the 27. Willie Shelby looking for some room. He's going to get it. Richard Todd at quarterback. Todd with the football. Todd throwing the football for Newsom. Oh, he almost made a tremendous catch at the 35-yard line. If you're not in there all the time, it's awful tough, and I'm sure both of them would like to be playing all the time. Uh, it's very difficult to get the feeling of the game itself. Five minutes to go in the third quarter. Todd throw, forced to throw now. Here's Newsom out here, and he can't quite get to it. With him was number 18, also impressive. Rod Nelson has to keep the ball away. Hangs this one very high, and that is Randy Harrison standing under it at the 31-yard line. Number one ranked Alabama in trouble with a little more than a quarter to go, and Notre Dame's got the football. Clements sets it up out here to Goodman, who's going to throw a pass himself. Instead of for Demily, it's picked off by Ricky Davis. First down, Alabama at the 47. Ricky Davis made an absolutely super play. Davis, six interceptions during the regular season, said he did not play well. Rutledge is the quarterback handing off from the 48. That's Shelby in motion to the right. Rutledge getting the ball out to Shelby and passed him. Third and nine. Rutledge looping it up in the air for Shamoon, and he can't turn around to get to it. Tangled up with the back, trying to get loose. The ball was looped in the air by Gary Rutledge. Nelson kicking the ball away very high. Harrison again calls a fair for a fair catch, this time at the 14-yard line. And that's the man he gives it to, and Bullock gets a couple of yards across the 15. This might go back and take a look again, Michael. 
Bullock again. And again, Greg Montgomery, number 63, is the lead tackler. That third down and six. The quick pitch back. This is Al Samuel, and he's out only to the 21-yard line. And he is knifed down there on a Bradley to kick the ball away. So he's yeah. waiting. Short kick. Bounces. Stays in bounds. And now finally goes out of bounds inside the 35 at the 33-yard line. The number one in the nation and favored tonight. And so far, it's been Notre Dame. Todd, he's got a second quarterback in there again. Todd is in there, throwing it out for Newsom, who makes the catch at the 45-yard line. Defending with him was Barnett. Well, now they use Calvin Culliver. Second down and seven. Dodd pitching back. Billingsley getting into Notre Dame territory at the 46-yard line. About Oliver in motion. Todd flipping over the middle past the hands of George Q, number 88, before fair catches. Got his hand up this time, and the ball bounces past him and angles toward out of bounds, where it's taken out of bounds. As the third quarter ends, the ball down by Mark Foothold. Well, we've got 15 minutes to go, and it is still Notre Dame. Same scores at halftime. Irish 13, tied 3. Ball is on the eight yard line. At Samuel in motion, and he's got the football. He's across the 10, he is across the 15, and he is very close to a first down before he is wrestled down. Notre Dame played mostly people with losing records. Things have not gone that way thus far tonight. We've got a long way to go. Bullock with the football and across the 20 to the 22. But Notre Dame getting beat uh, in the third and fourth quarter by uh, USC. I really don't put an awful lot of credits to that stuff. And, and Alabama has eight. Samuel in motion. Mark McLean, who Rose goes out, and Dick Turpin, 66, checks in for him. On second and short yardage, and there goes the man, Bullock, first down out near midfield. And that clock continues to wind down because of the flu. He is playing, and he is very effective. Here comes McLean this way. Tripped up at the line of scrimmage, and there's that Leroy Cook. Second down and eight. McLean again. Oh, my. There he is again. Leroy Cook. Goodman is in. He's in motion to the right. Here's the sixth pass coming up from Clements, if he can get it away. He does, and it is. Well, I'll have to say it's caught. It's in front of the bench there, but I can't see it until we get a look at this camera angle. You see Clement set up and uh, the whole play you've just finished seeing, but he gets in front of uh, Woodrow Lowe, and I see what happened. He caught his, his foot underneath his, his leg, and uh, well, something happened in there. Uh, Fourth yeah. down and about a foot to go. They just made a first I down. And Tom Paris comes in. Demily's up and walking around pretty good now. Well, not that good, but... Here comes Mark McLean, and McLean finds daylight and gets inside the 35-yard line. Second down and five. Samuel in motion. Maurice with the football and very close to the first down at the Alabama 30-yard line. Maurice has the first down, breaking across the 30. He has thrown back. Yeah, they ruled it. It was up there at the 30. Another big fourth down situation for Notre Dame. Pull back, Maurice, cut back. And they're marking it that Alabama takes over at their own 31 yard line. Taylor, Culliver, and Shelby in the backfield. Alabama tries to get back in the ball game. That is Shelby backing upfield and getting to the 34 yard line. Newsom wide to the right. He's expecting Todd to throw, and he's going to throw now, and he's looking for Newsom. Newsom's got the football at midfield. First down, Alabama. Then the hole was there. There goes Culliver. Culliver cracks for another first down inside the 40-yard line. <laughs> Newsom comes wide right. Todd throwing on first down, looking for Newsom. He made the catch at the 26-yard line. First down, Alabama. Th Newsom has now caught five passes for 64 yards. Todd back to throw, looking on the down and out. Has a man across the way. 
Ball is on the 12 yard line. Odd hands drops the football and has to come back and get it. Dotis Persigian, Newsom to the right. Todd, it is intercepted by number 41, Dewinetsky, and he's run out of bounds at the 26 yard line, and you wonder how much longer Alabama can hang in there. Tom Clements and company, they have shown the ability to eat up the clock. That's what Alabama cannot afford, and Clements carrying the ball himself. McLean's on the right side, Samuel on the left side, and Bullock is the big man in the middle in that backfield for Notre Dame. Bullock with the football. It's out to the 32-yard line, and now they're going to come up to another big third down. Alabama unbeaten until tonight. The national championship could be up for grabs instead of belonging to the Crimson Tide if this holds up. Look at Clements. He's going to throw, and now he can't. Leroy Cook is there. Boom, boom, boom. Bradley kicks the ball away. Shelby at the 37-yard line, looking for some running room. And doesn't get too much. Mr. Rutledge, he is sticking with Richard Todd at his quarterback in the last four and a half minutes of play. Todd throws it on the far side. Bobbled by Newsom, who's looking for some running room and gets some across the 50-yard line. Less than four minutes to go. Todd, looking, throws it out here to Randy Billingsley. And he may have gotten a yard, but Newsom, the freshman, at the top of your screen. Third down. Todd gets it out toward Newsom and underthrows it. Uh, they're awful tough to pick up. On fourth down. Looping it out, and there is number 25, Shamoon, and he should score! 47 yards, and Alabama's right back. You never saw a guy run a finer pattern, catch the ball. This guy is... And they're going for two. Todd looking for two, and Pugh makes the catch. Tremendous catch by George Pugh. And it's 13 to 11 with 3.13 to go. He was absolutely in a, in a flat-out parallel position. Has three minutes and 13 seconds of coaching left with the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Goodman at the 10. Running rather tentatively, gets out past the 20 to the 24. Samuel in motion. Clements, winning the throw, throws the ball out of bounds. Remember, Demerly is hurt. Clements, rolling out himself, gets away, pushed down. And they mark it very near the first down. Last time they had only one man in the backfield and they've only got one again now. Yep. And he gets it and dives and it all depends on where they mark it. They're standing at the 35, which should be good enough. Clements along the sidelines. Notre Dame, of course, has its pride. It's for Segan's last game. Bullock with the football and he gets a couple of yards and that's all. But this ranks with them all. It's second and eight. This is McLean, and he just got back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about all. Alabama will have a shot with about a minute and a half to go if they can hold him. A lock goal. He's going to be tackled for a loss. Back at the 31-yard line. Score. Line drives it to him. He'll have a chance to bring it back. Shelby is down at the 38-yard line, where it's first and 10 for Alabama with a minute and 39 seconds to go. And to win a national championship for Alabama. Todd, forced to throw. Shamoon again. And I believe he's out of bounds, stopping the clock with Randy Payne right there with him. The ball is at the 46-yard line and wide to the right. Todd, back throws it to man coming out of his backfield. Down the sidelines he goes, and that is Randy Billingsley. And that stops the clock. Ozzie Newsom is in and comes to the right side. Todd, back looking for Newsom. It is intercepted by Barnett. Reggie Barnett, cute, tries to drag him down. And Barnett goes out of bounds. And there might have gone the last glimmering chance for the Crimson Tide from Alabama. The ball was underthrown, intended for Ozzie Newsom.
the name of the game. Alaco finishing up, falls down. Alabama, it is our information, cannot call time. He expects to be back in coaching someday. This will make him want to come back perhaps a little sooner. Alaco falls down, 30 seconds to go. Boy, you're going to count it down. This may be it. Notre Dame upsets number one ranked Alabama. The Fighting Irish playing their last game for Eric Persegan. The big underdogs to the Crimson Tide, who have now lost eight consecutive bowl games. Favored again, unbeaten during the regular season, trailing 13 to 3 at halftime, 13 to 3 with 3 minutes and 13 seconds to go, when a 48 yard pass play made it as close as it really was.